Hey, what is up everybody? How is it going? Welcome to today's one minute video where we are going to talk about saturated products. So what is the deal between saturated versus non-saturated products and why is so many people talking about this? Uh, especially if you're a beginner, if you're a new dropshipper, you might be wondering what products to start with, saturated or non-saturated products and what are they? So there are two basic outcomes that can get out of this. Uh, first of all, if you're deciding to sell a saturated product, it means that you want to sell a product that a lot of stores are selling. There's a huge market for that product. For example, like, uh, I don't know, fidget spinners back in the day. There was a huge market for that. That was a highly saturated product because a lot of stores, hundreds over thousands of stores were selling the fidget spinners. So if you're deciding to sell a saturated product, there are uh, advantages and disadvantages. The advantages is that it might boost your confidence because you will see those first sales pretty quick because there's a huge market for this and a lot of people are buying those products. You will see those first sales pretty quick, but the problem is with scaling. If you want to scale, competition comes into place and you might find it a little bit harder to scale than a non-saturated product, mainly because there's a huge competition for that and there's small to little or no room to scale if you're a new store. On the other hand side, if you're deciding to sell non-saturated products, you might find those first sales a bit harder to achieve, but once you do and once you break out out of, I don't know, like uh, 10 sales, 20 sales, it's gonna be easier for you to scale because you're selling a product that nobody else is selling or a, or a, a little number of stores and you will have a lot of chances to scale it to the moon and it's going, going to be easier than if you would sell a saturated product. That's the whole story. Thank you for watching, see you tomorrow.